Facilities like the Stellenbosch Provincial Hospital have used innovative ways to increase its bed space. The 85-bed regional hospital has, among others, converted a training facility into a 25-bed COVID ward where 12 people are currently admitted. Hospital management says COVID-19 deaths have increased from 81 for the entire Stellenbosch sub-district at the end of September to 145 currently. Three staff members have died here since the pandemic started. At the lowest level in September, our test positivity was well under 10%. We were running at 5, 6, 7%. And as I said, our, our number of cases per 100,000 population was constantly between 20 and 25. So we were in a very good space, but uh, clearly the numbers indicate otherwise now. Health authorities say the hospital's COVID-19 testing unit, which limits contact between healthcare professionals and patients, means that less PPE is used and also expedites the testing process. The staff uh, doesn't have to don in uh, for the PPE. They can go the other side and then put on the gloves. And then the patient is the one who's carrying the, 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 the swab, the test. And then once done, and then they could be able to put it in the, in the, in the correct um, uh, cooler box. So it makes it easier for, especially when it's busy, that you don't have to keep on putting on the PPE and then putting off and then you do all of this. So it makes things easier. Mbombo says while the province has requested help from military doctors to assist with boosting medical staff for especially the Winelands areas, they've not yet been deployed. Over 700 additional beds have been brought into the provincial health system and the province says it can increase by a further 130 if needs be. The only real field hospital now is actually the R300, the Hospital of Hope and the R300 because at some stage that is going to have to be decommissioned. But every other extra bed that's been put in place is a bed that's there to be used in health. And if, I mean, in Mitchell's Plain, when I was there now, so the extra added to those beds are now there's packed oxygen to every single bed, which is an added extra that uh, is not going to go away. It's even after COVID or when we, when we get the numbers right down, those beds can still be used because they are permanently in the health system. The province is busy finalising its plan for a vaccine rollout. More details on the holistic provincial situation is expected during the weekly provincial briefing on Tuesday. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Stellenbosch.